Hey there poetry pals, welcome back to another video. This week I've been at a naturist campsite and I'm answering your questions about my first experience of naturism. That's right, I have been naked in nature at a campsite with other naked people and I asked my Instagram followers if they had any questions about the experience and in this video I'm going to answer those questions and share some of my thoughts on the process and yeah. But before we go any further, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I normally make videos about all things poetry. And while we're on the subject, why don't you follow me on social media? I am at Josie Ilford Poet on all the things. And you'll get to ask me questions like, what the hell am I doing at a naturist campsite? So I've been staying at a campsite called Sunfolk, which is owned by British Naturism, like a national governing body of naturists I guess and it was actually my friend Georgia who's a yoga instructor um, who invited me to come okay so weirdly there has been a lot of planes going overhead um, I reckon they're just coming to see me hello boys so yeah basically my friend Georgia who's uh, also a yoga instructor oh by the way Georgia um, is on Instagram at stripped back yoga so definitely go and check her out if you're interested in like trying yoga or trying naked yoga online naked yoga is really easy because it's literally just you in your living room so I recommend. She's been involved in British naturism for a couple of years now and we always talked about it at the pub um, and I found it really, I was curious about it. So she got asked to warden at some folk and asked me if I'd like to join her and I said yeah I'm interested in seeing what this is all about. So we got here a couple of days ago and even though I knew that this was a naturist campsite and stuff like that when we first arrived I was like oh my god that man over there is naked and I was totally like shocked and a little bit um I was shocked and a little bit um embarrassed at first because I was like oh my goodness there are naked people here and I had to sort of remind my brain that yes that is how naturism works people are naked also another thing to note is that the weather has been very cold and so there actually hasn't been that much nakedness at least on my behalf because i am sensitive to the temperature and i did not want to feel cold so i've been wearing clothes so what's really cool about some folk is they have um, a swimming pool, a sauna, and uh, like clubhouse with table tennis and pool. Uh, they have a little shop, they have a um, kitchen and a sunroom, as well as like loads of beautiful outdoor space, including like the fire pit here. Um, and it's been really nice to spend time in such a beautiful spot. Okay, so the first question I've got was, did you catch a cold? And the answer is no, because as I said, the weather was rubbish and I didn't get naked if I was too cold to. And it turns out that that's actually a very normal way of being. Um, there were some people at this campsite who have been hardcore and have been naked a lot more than everyone else, even in the cold, but that was not me. And there was also no pressure to to do so so yeah I have stayed wrapped up warm when I've needed to um, the closest thing I've got to a cold is I had very spicy curry and it made my nose run so the next question was when did it stop feeling awkward and I think it stopped feeling awkward almost straight away uh, we arrived at about five ish and Georgia had a yoga class to do which was a naked one so I joined in behind the camera and I took my clothes off and then from there it didn't feel that awkward at all actually um, there were moments throughout um, there were moments throughout the weekend where it did get awkward again. That was mostly when I first woke up in the morning and I'd be like just sort of walking to the toilet or grabbing a coffee and I'd be like, oh my God, a naked person. And I'd have to remind myself again that that's what's normal here. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's not been too awkward at all. So another question I got is, was it intimidating with a larger crowd? I've just got to interrupt here and say that the question was, was it more intimidating with a smaller crowd, 
not a larger crowd like I just said. How embarrassing, back to the video. This question came from my friend who I met the day before and we, I just learned that there weren't gonna be very many people here. And we were talking about how there's a certain anonymity in a large crowd where you being naked is not a big deal because there were so many other people who were naked. And um, I do think it was a little bit um, intimidating with there not being many people, um, but it was actually fine after a while. I do think the only thing I would have changed about the number of people here is I would have changed the number of women. Um, everyone here has told me that when there are more people and it is more busy here, it is more 50-50 split, um, but so far this week there has only been one other woman other than me and Georgia here um, and it would have just nice to have been, had a few more ladies with us but apart from that it's been fine. So a question that I've been asked not just by my followers on Instagram but also by people here is will I come again and the answer is yes. Do I think I'm going to be like a really active member who goes to all the events? No. But the festivals that people have been talking about this summer sound really fun. Um, hanging out with Georgia and doing yoga in beautiful spaces like this is amazing. This week has given me a lot to explore when it comes to my idea of body image um, and stuff like that. And it's definitely something that I do want to explore further. So I definitely will be coming back and doing more naturism again, although I do think that uh, it being September, I will probably wait until it is warm again. So I'll watch this space next summer. I'll probably be coming to a naturist park near you. I just want to end on some final thoughts. Um, first of all, I learnt some interesting facts about like the practicalities of naturism uh one everyone seems to own either a poncho or a kilt although ponchos are the more gender neutral item uh, this is because they are cracking at keeping you warm and just whipping them over uh, but still you get a little of like air to one side which is which is really cool so um I think I'll definitely be buying a poncho. Um, there is also, or at least this is the phrase that Georgia taught me and I absolutely love it. Uh, when you're walking around with a top but no bottoms, you are Winnie the Poohing um, because Winnie the Pooh wears a top and no bottoms. Just in case you hadn't realized that. Winnie the Pooh is a naturist, you heard it here first. Another thing I wanted to, to talk about, as I said earlier, like, I've had been given a lot to think about, about like sort of body image and stuff like that. Um, and it's been a fairly positive experience for me in that way. Um, I'm not sure. I think that like sort of body image and naturism is like that I could do a whole other video at another time when I've had a more of a chance to think about it. Um, but the one thing I will say is that uh, for me, a lot of my body image issues have come from my clothes not fitting because of the weight change that I've experienced um, and that can be really terrible um, but ways I've gotten around that is uh, buying clothes that fit but also I found that I do not feel bad about my body when I am naked um, like for me the body image issues start with clothes and actually being naked has been okay for me. Um, I also think that one thing you learn when you, you're at a place like this, like a naturist place, that there are all sorts of bodies and everyone is comfortable. And if other people can be comfortable in their bodies and it's not a big deal, then you can be comfortable in yours too. Um, yeah. They've probably got more to say on that, but for now I'll leave it at that. One of the things I was worried about was like the sort of sexualization of, of bodies. And I think like in society so often, like, you know, particularly women's bodies are objectified and sexualized and stuff like that. And um, I was worried that I would feel 
like that was happening to me when I came here and took my clothes off. Um, but not once have I felt like that. Um, it's just, I, I don't think I can put into words how much of a not big deal it is here. Um, you know, no one's staring at you. Everyone's in various states of undress, depending on how they deal with the cold. And they're just here camping on holiday, having a wonderful time using the sauna, using the pool. And it's not a sexy thing at all. It's just a thing and that's it. Um, but yeah, I think there's, this trip has definitely given me a lot to think about um, in terms of, um, you know, my body, my perception of my body and stuff like that. So yeah, I've got to go. See you later guys. Before the video ends, I just want to jump in here and say something. Earlier this week, I posted a photo on my Instagram of my time at uh, Sunfolk, which included, it was literally like chest up, like you couldn't see anything untoward, but it was talking about this video going out and telling people to subscribe so that they could catch the video. This is the first time I've posted anything about it. As I said, this video is about my first time trying naturism. That post led to a bunch of new likes, a few new followers, and it also led to my first unsolicited dick pic. Just to confirm, this is not okay. Just because I upload a photo of me trying naturism, once again, without any explicit images on it, does not mean that I want to see pictures of your naked body without asking. Just not interested, don't want it. And I think just to be clear, just because any woman or person is on the internet does not mean that they consent to see pictures of your naked body either. It comes down to an issue of consent for me, like I did not consent to receive this photo of you naked, um, even if you did put emojis for me, one thing that I've learned about naturism and the um, events and sites that you have that are like designated naturist sites is that those spaces are all about consent. Like by going there, you consent to be naked and to see naked people. And those spaces are built on like mutual respect for each other and for the environment and all of those things. Uh, what I love about these spaces is that it's just a f it's just full of like love and respect You know like as I said earlier in the video you can choose not to be naked. That's absolutely fine Especially when it's chilly everyone understands so it's all about like meeting you where you're at and letting you be like happy and just have the space to do whatever as long as you also respect that other people are going to do the same thing for me unsolicited dick pics sending pictures of your penis to people on the internet who didn't ask for it fly in the face of that like it is an issue of consent i didn't want to see that and i feel like sending pictures of your like fully naked body flies in the face of that respect that i feel like naturism is built on so in conclusion, stop sending pictures of your naked body to people who didn't ask for those photos. And also there are places on the internet where that is acceptable. It just so happens to be that my DMs are not one of them. Anyway, back to the video. Cheers guys. Peace. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you found it interesting or useful. Please like this video, um, subscribe to my channel. As I said, I do normally make videos about poetry and uh, comment down below. Have you tried naturism? Will you try it? Has this video changed your mind? Or are you like, absolutely not, I'm keeping my clothes on? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I am at Josie Elford Poet on all the things. And I will see you all next week for a video about writing a poem for my friend's wedding. See you then, bye.